Hi everyone, I'm Danny. I'm the Kidtropolis Educator for Children's Museum Houston. So even though we are all at home, we can still practice some of the same knowledge and skills that we learn in Kidtropolis, including learning about different jobs and math skills and financial responsibility by role-playing at home. So when we role-play, we are using our imaginations to take on a different role or character. And one of the most popular places people love to role play in Kidtropolis is in Nico Nico's Diner. So we have managers and we have cashiers, servers, cooks, all working together to give our customers a great dining experience with delicious food and top-notch customer service. Now our friends and sponsors over at Nico Nico's are still open for business. They've got curbside pickup, they have delivery, multiple different locations. You can even order online and we certainly encourage you to support this local business if you are able to do so. Now for those of you who are preparing food at home, I wanted to show you a way that you can role play a classic dining out experience right in your own kitchen. Now parents, here's where you come in because even though Kidtropolis is a kid city, it's for kids, run by kids, right now at home, you are probably the ones in charge of all of the meal planning. And if that's the case, you might be experiencing a lot of this right now. What's for breakfast? Um, I was thinking just cereal. Ooh, what's for lunch? How about sandwiches? Yuck, what's for dinner? Pasta? <laughs> Sound familiar? So, why don't we reverse the role play? Because for those of you who have been to Kidtropolis know, in Nico Nico's Diner, our kids love working. They want to take the orders, they want to cook up the food, plate it, serve it, total up the bill, collect the money, all of that. Which means parents, you get to be the customers and you get to tell them what you'd like to eat. So let's try this role play out, shall we? First, take a look around your fridge or pantry for some food items you wouldn't mind allowing your kids to prepare and serve. Now, I'm not expecting you all to make cabbage rolls and baklava or anything like that. It can be as simple as a bowl of applesauce, a dozen crackers, a cheese stick, that sort of thing. Give them as many options as you can find because the next step for the kiddos is to make a menu. You can do this with paper and pen or you can make a fancy version on the computer, but you'll want to list out everything your restaurant has to offer. I would encourage you to split it into different categories like appetizers, entrees, side dishes, drinks, desserts, as many as you'd like. List each item a customer would be able to order and then create prices to go with them. And be sure to give your restaurant a name. You can put that at the top. And then if you'd like, you can even include pictures of the food to try to entice or encourage customers to order those items. Next, you'll want to set up your dining area. I recommend the kitchen table, but feel free to add any special touches you'd like. Homemade placemats, napkins, silverware, even a centerpiece if you want one. Now you need to bring in the customers. Make sure they have some play money they can use. You can get this from a board game or make your own if you'd like. Show them to their seats, give them a menu, and give them time to look over their options. Don't forget to write down their orders so that you know what they want. What would you recommend? The ants on the log. It's the chef's specialty. Once your orders are in, it's time to prep and plate the food. First and foremost, make sure your counters are clean and your hands are washed. 20 seconds, very essential. Now, if you need any tools or equipment like cutting boards or utensils, pull those out ahead of time and get an adult's permission or supervision for anything you might need. Start by taking care of any food prep. Then assemble each customer's plate. You want to make a nice presentation so the food looks as good as it tastes. Once all of your orders are ready, bring them out to your customers. Don't try to carry too much at once. It's okay to make multiple trips at this restaurant. Check in with your customers periodically during their meal to see if they need any refills or if they'd like to order any additional food.
Make sure to total up the check at the end so they know what the final bill is. Collect payment, give appropriate change, and remember to smile. You should get a good tip for all of your hard work. Thank you. Now, if you want to extend this role play, you can try adding to your menu a little bit by working on some of your chef skills. So parents, this is a great opportunity to work alongside your young chef in the kitchen. You can teach them about how to make a sandwich. You could do simple things like mix up some trail mix or maybe do some, some easy baking with your, your young chef. And as a bonus, kids who help prepare meals, they tend to complain about the food a little bit less and they're more willing to try new things. So thank you again to our friends at Nico Nico's for their support. Everyone at home have fun learning, cooking, and role playing, and we will see you all back again at the museum real soon.